Joe Clean, Southern Hospitality, February 16, 1990, 211. Joe smiled and bobbed his head in a minute bow in response to Genevieve's greeting. Good morning, he replied loudly and enthusiastically. I'm fine, he says in more intimate tones as he reduces the two meters that separate him from the counter, emphasizing I'm. And how are you, he asks, shooting his eyebrows skyward. Genevieve tilts her head, smiles coyly, and titters slightly. Oh, he was fine. Apparently, he was using something called a Macintosh and a modem, she replies, her eyebrows rising and falling at Macintosh and modem, to communicate with his company in San Francisco when the power went out earlier and he wanted to let us know how inconvenient this was. I told him that power failures are considered acts of God and politely explained that he should take this up with someone higher up, she adds, air quoting. He was fine. How can I help you today? And where's your lovely wife? Misty's back at the castle. Uh, just want to know if the shuttle is running or the ring road bus, not the airport shuttle. Ah, Genevieve replies, nodding her head slightly three times as she exhales hard. It is running, but I'm afraid this storm is absolutely no consideration for our one hour time allotment. So far, we have only been successful in being on time for our 6.30 departure. But even on his first run, the weather had a deer's running late. He reported lots of standing water on the ring road and a few power lines and trees down. Do you need to go somewhere? Need is probably too strong of a word, Joe replies. We just thought with the weather making beach time a highly unlikely pastime, that we might take the bus to a restaurant on the northwest side for lunch and then come back on the next circuit. I don't see why that would be a problem, though it might behoove you to call ahead to ensure that wherever you are going is open. Some places were harder hit than others. Be hoofed? So what am I now, a satyr or a centaur? Genevieve shakes her head slightly and says, Well, you are obviously not half-horse, and I will not speculate considering your status vis-a-vis -a, -vis a satyr, sir. Where are you planning to go? Actually, we were hoping you might be of assistant there as well, Joe says, eyebrows going high as he flips his palm skyward. Any place you would recommend or steer us towards or away? Steer? Are you looking for steak? She responds with an impish grin. Seriously, she adds, holding her hand up, palm facing Joe. Is there anything that you are looking for? Specific cuisine, atmosphere, beautiful vistas, or perhaps an historical setting? Those are all great questions, Joe replies, bringing his shoulders high and again flipping his hands, palms to the sky, none of which I have any answers to. Let me ask this way. If you had friends visiting who had never been to St. Kitts and they wanted a nice lunch with a lovely view, where would you be likely to take them? Well, there are quite a few places, she says, raising and lowering her index finger. But if they had never been to our island, I might take them to the Clay Villa Plantation. It's not on the northwest side, though. D does that matter terribly? No, Joe says, shaking his head repeatedly. Not at all. Just saw that it was more built up that way and thought that would give us lots of options. Where the plantation is just west of Trinity, but you can see Nevis from there. It's lovely. Shall I call ahead for you to make sure they're open? Oh, goodness, Joe says, shaking his head and smiling. You don't have to do that, but if you have the number handy, I would greatly appreciate you writing it down for me, he asks, raising eyebrows out. Of course, here, let me get it for you, she says, consulting her computer screen.